Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or whatever time you're watching this. I never know what to say when it comes to that, because like, I'm recording it in the morning, but you could watch it in the middle of the night, so good whatever time it is for you. Got some cool stuff planned today, so let's go. All right, so today I am photographer turned model. My buddy Anthony, who's been on the channel a couple times, I'll link the LinkedIn headshot video here, help me with that. He followed some advice I had in a way older video, the one about working with brands. He reached out to a brand and he was successful. They said, yeah, sure, we'll send you some swag. We'll get you to take some pics for us. So he asked me to help him out, but in the unconventional sense that I'll be modeling and not taking pictures or videos. Well, I'm gonna vlog it for you guys, but you get the point. Let's go pick them up. All right, folks, Anthony here. Anthony, tell the people at home what you did. What's going on? Uh, just, you know, browsing on Instagram, reached out to a company, B Clutch, said, hey, really like your product. I actually bought one myself, and said, you want some free product photography? And he sent us some goods. So we're gonna shoot that today. There you go, folks. Yeah, I said this in a video a long time ago. Did you watch that video? Yeah. Did that inspire you at all? A little bit. Yes. I'll take a little bit. We're at Cold Creek. Cold Creek? Cold yeah. Creek, yeah. We're at Cold Creek Conservation Area. We're walking into the forest. We're gonna take some like lifestyle shots. Um, the whole vibe of like B Clutch is like what? Like outdoors, kind of athletic. athletic. You know, the kind of the Ontario sportsman kind of Canada, vibe. very can Canadian vibes. So we're walking into the forest and we're gonna take some cool shots and Hopefully, we could produce something that this guy likes. Otherwise, he's probably not gonna send us more free stuff. All right, spot number one. I'm gonna start my modeling career right here. And I have a massive head, so I'm gonna have to fix this. <laughs> spot number one, check this out. We got some sweet leading lines, some nice lighting in between the trees. Hopefully, that creates some cool depth effects on the photo. And I'm gonna fit this on my head properly and get to work. Look, it fits. I told you, big head, but you know, good snapback design. It's a bit diffused a bit. It's kind of nice right here. Yeah, you've got like the branches kind of yeah. like breaking it up. Don't like look into the sun, kids. <laughs> Venturing further and further into the conservation area. I'm trying to find it. Ow, ow, there's bugs everywhere. I'm trying to find cool spots to take photos. This stuff's actually really nice. It's a free shout out. Lots of cool paths like that, and lots of light coming through. For like outdoor product shots, and like if you're going for that outdoor vibe for whatever you're doing, earlier on in the morning before the sun's like all the way up is a great time to shoot because the, the light kind of comes through the trees on an angle. Creates some really interesting shapes, some really interesting dynamic shots. me. Ladies and gentlemen at home, if you're shooting and modeling in the forest, keep an eye out for dog shit on the ground because I fucking stink. All right, let's keep going. All right, we're moving on to the next spot and I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't care what anybody says. Modeling, not that easy, okay? You gotta be careful where you're walking. Obviously, you don't wanna step in dog shit like some models I know. You get bit by bugs all the time. It's crazy. I'm working up a sweat. I don't know if Anthony's gonna be able to edit that out in the photos, but he's gonna have to, otherwise, you're gonna have a sweaty model. Whew. I'm, I'm, I'm gassed. On to location two, down this nice path in the beating sun. And I decided to switch into sweatpants, which Anthony pointed out the first word of those is sweat. Probably wasn't a good idea, but you know, you don't learn if you don't make bad decisions. I don't know. So Anthony's definitely a smarter kid than I am. Found a map, figured out where we are so we can actually take pictures and not die in the sweltering heat and get lost. Oh, shade, I love it. Okay, here we go. It's, <laughs> it's actually like walking into an air-conditioned home. As the landscape gets a little bit nicer for photos, it also gets a little bit more terrifying. Look at the left of us. Boom. One bad step, certain death. These are the things you do for good photos. One thing... Yeah, three leaves. Leaves of three, stay away from me. They're like the little like almond shaped leaves. Ladies and gentlemen at home, leaves of three, stay away from me. That's just a general poison ivy rule. 
What I do like about the forest though is that like you can go anywhere and it becomes a set for your photo shoot. Like look at look at this. Just a fallen tree in the middle, some nice grass. Anthony getting ready over there. Like it's just it's beautiful. I think I'm just gonna become a photographer who shoots strictly in the forest, even in the winter. Why not? Where were you shooting at? Oh my god, what are the chances? I thought, dude, I thought I was gonna turn around and see a bear. Kobe. All right. Was that our second spot? How did we lose track? We've only been shooting for like an hour. I don't even know. No, it's second spot. Yeah. But we just stopped in like two places on the first spot, so it's like there you go. So 0.5. All right, so two spots down, maybe one to go. I don't know. We gotta explore what's further down. Oh, I see a nice like wooden thing. Take a look at some of the pics so far, people. What do you think of my modeling career? Drop it down below. Should I just switch the whole channel over to modeling? I don't know. So we've stayed on the same path, but like, again, I was saying earlier that of shooting in the forest is fun because like, look at how different this section of the same forest is. Like the trees are all dead. It's like very gray and it's like a totally different vibe. Literally five seconds away from where we were just shooting. I mean, I heard Potter move. <laughs> Everything's awesome until there's a bear. So, you know, if there's a bear um, to the, discoverer of this camera please upload this to my youtube channel you can get in touch with my family they'll probably help you uh if anthony survives get him to edit it or you just photoshop it so that daniel ah, is jacked this somehow just keeps coming back to how cool forests are but look at this little path like we're just walking down this already cool path and we find this other side cool path look at this what what is that like how is, that? that's not man-made. Or it might have been cleared. <laughs> All right, and three locations down. What do you think of my modeling skills so far? Not bad, you've been uh, easy to work with. I know, and pretty easy on the eyes too, right? Yeah, I mean, that helps. I just, I needed that confidence boost right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got some, I think we definitely got some sweet picks. Yeah. I think B Clutch, they're gonna be super happy once the photos are edited. I hope so. Do you think we can show the people at home some of the edited photos like right now? I don't see why not. Go. We are currently walking back to the car in this sweltering heat, which I'm not complaining about because it's almost October and it's still nice here in Canada. It's like, it's a little shaky. Sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's nice, but it's really nice right now. I think we did a solid job today. I hope you folks at home agree. And if you don't, whatever, that's your opinion. I think we did great. Anyway, guys, comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you're not already. Oh, and check out Anthony's channel too. Yeah, strong. Trying to start it. I'll link it down below. Some of you guys can go follow him. Love ya.